We got tagged. What is going on today guys, AU here, and today we're doing a little bit of a different video. I had actually planned this video to go up a couple days ago, just as a uh, another addition to the series of offline, my offline leagues that I did like the NPAA, the movie. I did a PBL speed tour that I was going to do the kind of same thing with. Um, so that's going to be in the background of this video uh, while I talk over this because I was just tagged by my boy KJ. Um, and this is something that's kind of been going around the draft community a little bit. And it's basically this thing where you answer six questions and then you tag three people to also answer the six questions. It's kind of just to look back at 2020 and look into 2021 at the same time. So I thought it'd just be kind of fun to uh, sit here and talk about this as the speed tour is going on in the background. Hopefully I can talk for 11 minutes and 38 seconds because that's how long the speed tour video is. So let's try to let's try to time it that way and if you are new here and you like the content please subscribe check out kj um he's another draft draft league content creator um and pretty good friend so check out him give him some love and yeah so the questions are what is the best pokemon of 2020 what is the best video you have made this year or are looking forward to making uh what can your viewers expect from you in 2021 is there anything on youtube that has made you feel really good this year the crown tundra or isle of armor which one was your favorite and then name a small concert creator who deserves more love um so when i think of the best pokemon of 2020 what was the best pokemon of 2020 <laughs> personally if you're on the channel i love scizor scizor um has done a lot for me this year um in draft league at least but i don't really think scizor was the best pokemon of 2020 like if i had to think of a pokemon in my head that just solidified 2020 it would have to be something that just dominated each meta at some point whether it be ou bgc draft league monotype nat decks whatever this pokemon was everywhere and we all know what it is it's dragapult um dragapult has dominated the ou meta since it came out it dominated the vgc meta especially around like series three series four um and it's it's the best draft pokemon like it's hands down the best draft pokemon there's so many things you can do with this this mon and you can see it's on my team in the speed tour and i do some stupid stuff with it just because it's an actually really really dumb mon you have um support sets and vgc with ally switch and screens and wisp and t-wave actually i don't think it gets whips it gets t-wave um you can have um max airstream uh sets where you're just constantly boosting your your allies speed and making them faster you um have the OU sets where you have specs and DD specs is usually what is ran um, but you can have like sub DD I saw a sub disabled set that I'm actually gonna have in this video at the very end that just wrecks somebody um, you have specs you have DD you have wisp hex uh, you can put it on teams with a good T spiker and uh, just spam specs hex that way it's just overall a really really good pokemon and if you think back to like 2017 through 2019 how landorus just kind of dominated every meta that it was in that it's what dragapult has done since it came into the competitive scene and honestly if you had to say what what mon was 2020 it would be dragapult um next is what is the best video you have made this year or the one you're looking forward to making and to be honest i'm gonna have to pull up my youtube because I don't really know. I don't I don't know like what video really stuck out to me as my best video. I know my VGC videos got a lot of love. Um, but as most people know here, I don't really do VGC content anymore. It's kind of just um kind of just draft league content. And I do think my my videos here recently have really uh, stepped up their game. Um, although one thing I do have to say is when I made these VGC videos, I was, I was dedicated to making a, a brand new team, at least three brand new teams every week. Um, I would say one of my, one of my best videos, as far as explanation, uh, the quality of the team and stuff like that would have to be my G max Hatterene video in, in, in VGC. Um, that was definitely the best VGC team I made and I took it to a tournament and got 18th. I missed top cut by two. I uh, uh, lost my very last game to the guy that actually ended up placing fourth. Um, 
so that kind of sucked obviously a video that's always going to stick close to me is my nsl championship match um uh, that was my very first draft league that i did and we did make it to the championship we ended up winning that so that's that's a pretty good video that's going to stick close to me for for a really really long time um ugl finals obviously is not on my channel which is weird that i'm saying this but um it's on kj's channel and i my recording kind of messed up and i never was able to re recover that footage so hopefully one day i'll figure out how to recover it because i still have it on my computer i just have to figure out how to make it not corrupt um so i can actually post it and edit it edit with it and then my my among us videos actually my among us videos i think were really really funny i i liked i liked watching my among us videos overall i think my content is pretty pretty consistent um i am trying to get a little bit better about my reactions um because i even even my last draft league video my bbl week 4 video i was watching it back and i was just thinking this is boring like if if i was if i was a viewer I don't know if I would I would sit through this whole video and that's kind of how I try to look at my videos is what I sit through this whole video and watch it um at least that's my new outlook on it um and that one I, I really I wasn't feeling it I was really focused in that battle and I I just kind of wasn't as entertaining as I wanted to be I even thought about doing a voiceover and and doing a, a replay analysis but I I'm trying to figure out if if people like replay analysis more because i can talk about the game a lot better or if people like live commentary because they get my reactions and it's just it's hard it's hard to squeeze in it really is and i'm trying to figure out um what is the best but hopefully i get better at that so what you could expect what i look forward to making the most is is just good content as a whole i just look forward to improving I had a goal this year to hit 500 subs uh, when I started by the end of the year. We hit 350. We started at zero in February and hit 350 by the end of the year. Like I, I can't really ask for anything more than that. Um, you know, so my, my goal is just to become a better content creator and, and find, find the audience that, uh, that wants to be here and watching me. Um, what can your viewers expect from you in 2021? Like I said, really just all around better content, uh, more attention to detail, higher quality, less quantity. Uh, right now I'm doing like one video a week, maybe two videos a week. Um, I also want to kind of branch out away from Draft League. I want to kind of branch out away from Pokemon as a whole, and I want to invest in a new computer. Uh, I graduate in May, so hopefully when I get my first job, I can invest in a new computer and start streaming because i really want to start streaming just to kind of get to know people better i feel like i'm a pretty chill dude um to kind of just hang out with and play games so we'll see we'll see how that goes um is there anything on youtube that has made you feel really good this year um i'm not gonna lie i watched a ton of youtube content i went from among us content to pokemon playthroughs back to among us i've consistently watched minecraft content all year long um mr beast just had the the youtube rewind which i think was actually a really well made video it didn't make me it made me uh feel good about 2020 <laughs> yeah in the year that it was it wasn't the best year um but i think overall it has to be like among us i, I i've really watched ludwig a lot this year just because his content always makes me laugh it, it doesn't matter what he's doing i don't care if he's making a tier list or playing among us or playing minecraft or even just talking doing a reddit recap like ludwig will always make me laugh and it's it's really nice to have that person have that con content creator to go to that will, you know will always lift up your spirits if you're feeling a little bit down so yeah i would have to say probably just ludwig's channel as a whole has been the best experience for me on on youtube this year and then does the crown tundra or, or the isle of armor i'm not gonna lie i really did not like the isle of armor i at first i didn't like the crown tundra either uh the story felt like it kind of took a little bit to pick up but once the story did pick up i did not put my game down i played that game for six hours straight and beat the whole crown tundra story the isle of armor it was a different story uh it, the story wasn't all that great it was kind of just here and there and you know you caught raid den pokemon which was cool i hopped in a call with kg and polo and we hunted for hidden abilities reset dens and you know 
build up our net our uh pokedexes but after that i didn't really touch it and i'm not gonna lie after the story is over i don't really touch these these games a lot so so for me it's kind of whatever but i would say definitely the crown tundra um and then name a small concert creator who deserves more love i'm actually going to name two uh one is kj the person who did tag me in this um he's a he's a really cool dude he's a really good battler a really good team builder i think that's probably where he thrives the most at um and team building and uh team drafting and stuff so you learn a lot from him and then he shouted out the same person i will shout out eli who <laughs> it was in nsl he ran nsl the season that i that i won and he still does run it but i kind of told him he needed make youtube content because this dude is a looney tune like he's i don't i don't know bro he's so dumb but he's so funny and like he's i'm not gonna lie he's not when he's recording he's not in this to win when he's not recording he's in it to win but when he's recording he does not care about winning all he cares about is making sure that the people watching his videos are gonna laugh and they always are so definitely check those two out they will be linked in the description and i need to figure out who i'm gonna tag so the three people i tag will be on the screen right now and their links will be in the description i don't know how i'm gonna do it right now so i don't know who to say but with that that's the end of the video if you like what you saw like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.